Welcome back. With a new school year upon us, the mask debate is now back in the headlines. In Florida, some school districts have mandated masks with a caveat that parents will be able to opt their children out. This after Governor DeSantis issued an executive order ensuring parents can decide if their kids should wear masks. Here to discuss, co-founder of Moms for Liberty and Mama 4, Tiffany Justice, Shannon Ford, mother to a kindergartner, and mom of two, Amy Kaminsky. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. First question to you, Tiffany. It seems that Ron DeSantis gets accused of being anti-mask when in reality he really is pro-parental choice. Is that your take? Absolutely. Um, you know, Ron DeSantis realizes that we want to partner with our children's schools, but we don't co-parent with the government. So we see forced masking as a direct attack on parental rights, and we believe that parents are the best expert for their own child. We trust parents to make the choice as to whether or not to mask their children in school, and we're thankful that Ron DeSantis had our backs. Shannon, with that said, there is a mask mandate in Broward County without a parental opt out. It should be noted that tomorrow there's going to be a Board of Education meeting to discuss this is, has gone back and forth over the last week. Specifically to your child, what does wearing a mask mean for your child? You know, he's starting a school for the uh, a new school for the first time. So it's making new friends and having that new experience. And that's a mask is going to prevent that. He has been in a preschool since the, the pandemic and they've never required masks. There's never been an outbreak. There's never even been a scare. And the kids have and he's thrived. So going into a new school, that's my biggest concern is the social the social well-being of my son. Let's look at COVID-19 vaccination rate among the 12 to 15 year olds in our country. 39.8 have the first dose, 29.1 are fully vaccinated. Amy, your two children are fully vaccinated, but that was your family's choice. How concerning is it, though, that a governmental entity could be telling you how to parent? I think a federal mandate, a, a national ruling at this point makes absolutely no sense for our children. I think this needs to be looked at at the local district and probably is going to need to be reevaluated by local officials every couple of weeks. I think that at this point, after a, a year and a half of interrupted schooling, another year of interrupted schooling will do irreparable damage to our children academically. Let's look at COVID-19 among U.S. children. 14.3% of total cases, a little over 17,000 hospitalized, and it is every parent's worst nightmare, the death of a child, almost 300 deaths nationwide. With that as a backdrop, want to go around the horn here. Tiffany, how worried are you that your children will catch COVID? I feel like my children are healthy and safe. We take a lot of precautions at home to, to try to ensure their health. Um, what we've seen with forced masking is that a lot of the harms that children have faced have been um, slow for schools to see, but parents have seen them. So we believe that the developmental harms to forced masking can really outweigh any other risk to children right now due to COVID. And um, again, we're just thankful that parents are going to have the choice as to whether or not to mask their kids. Shannon, same question to you. How worried are you that your child will catch COVID. I'm not worried that it'll catch COVID. Um, we know the data. The data speaks that the virus does not affect children like it affects older Americans or older individuals. So I'm not worried that he catches it. Obviously, we take all precautions, but I make sure that we keep his immune system up and so that if he does, if and when he does catch it, that he can fight it and recover very easily. Amy, take us home. How worried are you? Your kids are going to catch it. I worry about everything, and um, I, I do worry and I don't. I vaccinated my children. I have 100% confidence in that vaccine. At the same time, they'll be wearing a mask to school this year until we're 100% in the clear. I worry more about their academics at this point and, and their success in school. Yeah, Liz, that's definitely an argument. A lot of people are saying, like, look, if face between the mask and Zoom, I'm choosing the mask because we can't do Zoom again. But this is definitely an issue with so many layers. It's it's going to be interesting to see how the school year plays out. Tiffany, Shannon, and Amy, thanks for getting up with us. Best of luck to your kids this upcoming year. Jillian. I also worry about everything. So yeah,